There it is. Hi, I'm Mal Pals and New Pals. Today's video is a get ready with me slash life update slash me recreating a makeup look that I saw quite a bit ago and wanted to do. And here we are doing it for fun. I have not worn makeup in quite a few weeks. So this was interesting. I felt very new and green as I was applying the makeup, but it was fun. So long time no see, but hopefully we're gonna get into more of a schedule. This is the very first video that I'm filming in my new house. The plumbing, the plumbers are here. They've been here for a couple hours now. I am still moving in here and getting settled and I'm having some crazy plumbing issues, which is fine. This house is nearly a hundred years old and I'm pretty sure plumbing is too. So uh, yeah, I had to immediately get this fixed. They're here right now. So I'm just sipping my coffee and praying to the Lord that this isn't gonna be thousands of dollars. So there are some moments in the video where you're gonna be hearing a lot of machinery. Grab a coffee, a glass of wine, and whatever beverage you would like to enjoy. I have not edited this yet, but I get the feeling it's gonna be kind of a long one and hopefully we can catch up. Also, this look I am loving and I feel like this is like my new go-to glam look, girl. And maybe that's just because I haven't worn makeup in a while. Maybe this just looks like I'm wearing mascara, but we did a soft, blended cut crease that's really you're like is it there is it there it is now let's go ahead and get started i saved the skincare part because today's video is sponsored by wind and i have been using a few of their skincare products loving them just because i had an autoimmune rash and it's just been crazy and uh i'll update you guys here in this video of everything that's been going on life update as well as a let's get glam because I haven't worn makeup in forever. I guess technically I wore it a couple weeks ago because I went to Harry Styles, but it was very rushed. So specifically, I'm super excited to talk to you guys about something that has given me a little more confidence because I haven't been able to wear makeup in such a long time. It is the Wind Eureka Sun Instant Glow Self Tanner. Now here's the thing, this is for your face and neck. You can even, if you wanted to, mix in with a little body lotion, but I specifically like this for my face and my neck because it doesn't break me out. It gives me a super, super natural uh, kind of glow. I've been you know, layering it with uh, my skincare for about seven days now. So it was like, here's the before and here's the actual after. I mean, you're seeing the after now, but here are the pictures. So it's really given me a lot of just like perfect amount of glow as well as even my skin tone. It's formulated with erythrulose, which penetrates the skin pretty deeply. So it gives you such a nice glow from like within. You know, it doesn't look like you have self tanner on. It looks like it's coming through your skin. It has hyaluronic acid and glycerin. So it's super moisturizing. A lot of self tanners, you know, for the face, we're kind of used to them drying us out a little bit compared to the Tan Lux face drops. Okay. You can like customize, but you get pretty dark pretty quickly. This, it, you really build up over time and you can really just customized by also combining with oils. So today I have the Wind Marrakesh Light Illuminating Magic Oil, which is wonderful to mix in with your foundations and other skincares, skincares, skincare products. And it has amber, so it smells like one of my favorite smells. I love the smell of amber. It smells so incredible and it is so, so moisturizing. I take a couple of drops of this, like so. This is what the Eureka Sun Tan Drops look like. I love the green glass in this dropper. So I just put one drop like that. The reason why is because I haven't had the time or energy to like self tan my whole body. So I have just been kind of layering this with the oil and to make sure just kind of my face has a little bit of color instead of my whole body because I don't have the time. And that's one thing that I love. It's so natural looking and you can go darker if you wanted to, don't get me wrong. 
but I wanna keep it pretty light just because I don't have the time to do my whole body. <laughs> so just a little face glow and a sweater because I live in Arkansas now, so it's freezing. So on top of all of that, I'm going to use the Wind Adina Dew Melting Rose Water Cream. I been loving this because the other my other favorite scent is rose i feel like all of their products smell like you're at a very nice like natural spa experience so i've just been thoroughly enjoying that and i've also been doing my uh gua sha action with these products but the light scent of roses is so nice finally my immune rash is kind of clearing up you can kind of see it right here but even the uh, Eureka Glow over my immune rash, it didn't get like patchy around where I was really dry, you know, where the butterfly rash happens. If you're familiar, it gets very like um, dry and a little bit crusty and all that stuff. And so I've also kind of been dealing with a rash around my temples and it didn't cling onto that whatsoever. It was really nice. If anything, it kind of helped hide the redness and irritation. I've been enjoying all of the wind products, but my favorite by far just like stand out, especially for me personally right now, because obviously I can't get any, you know, sun and can't get a natural glow from the sun, but needing that like health look boost, the Eureka Sun and Sun Glow has been a gift. All of the scents, like I just described to you, are so incredible and just very like, warm and just smell super calming in a way. And they're all inspired by the founder Hen's Moroccan heritage. So that's really, really neat. And I love the color story of the brand. It's definitely some of my favorite colors. The products are vegan, cruelty-free and carbon neutral. And also you can use this as a bronzer if you wanted to take this on your um, beauty blender and kind of give yourself a natural little contour underneath your foundation. And also kindly gave me a discount code. It is not an affiliate code. You get 20% off. I will have everything I talked about in the info below. So make sure to check that out if you're interested in trying wind. This is normally $35, but with my code, it is only 28 and they do offer international shipping. Hello, thank you. So now that we have our incredible glow on, girl, for the look today that I kind of want to recreate was a look that I reposted on Instagram, Lee Bieber's 25th birthday makeup. And I just reposted it saying that I loved this makeup look and a lot of you DM'd me and were like, definitely recreate this. I mean, I'm serious, like you guys responded and said that. And it just like, and I feel like since I have this natural glow, thanks to the wind, you're like sun, selfless, selfless, sunless standing drops. Let me just knock everything off this desk right here. I figured we could definitely recreate this. And I'm very excited because it looks like, you know, we could use a lot of the products that I hauled from Sephora during the sale. Let's get started with this. She has very glowy skin, which is perfect for this today because we have our glowy base on from Wind Skincare. I'm going to actually go in with the Giorgio Armani Neo Nude True to Skin Natural Glow Foundation. I kind of forgot how much I loved this. I have my studio kind of halfway unpacked. So I'm kind of, you know, rediscovering products that I already own. So this is the shade 3.5 and I feel like it will be a match for today. And this is a very like, I don't know, the formula feels almost gel-like, if that makes any sense. This is the shade 3.5 and I think it will be our match. So this is the very first, I'm not sure when this video is going up, but this is the very first video I have filmed in my new house. So this is very exciting. This background is probably gonna be temporary. Um, I don't know, we'll see where I end up. I really don't have anything situated in any type of permanent way right now in here. So hopefully the lighting, I don't know about the audio, I'll see post edit and what I need to do about that. Just because the walls are very thin and uh, the windows need, I mean, walls need to come down. If you guys haven't seen my vlog about buying this house and what my plans are for it, I will leave that in the info below just to kind of like quickly catch you up on what's going on. But it feels really good to be back and filming today. I'm having a little bit of a breakout thanks to my immune system, so that's fun. But I think this 3.5 is a nice little match for me. Life update. Let's go ahead and get into that. Um, I permanently moved here a week ago. 
So now, as you can see, like why I'm saying like nothing is permanently set up. And I think it's just because I've been going, going, going for so long, pretty like full speed. I'm just gonna put a little more coverage on my chin because that's where, I don't know, I'm having quite the breakout, but I feel like I need to bring you guys closer. Let's see, let me show you. Okay, see that nice glow? I do really love this stuff. It says it's a foundation, but I almost feel like it's like a skin tint. A couple days ago, I think it was, a couple of days ago, the uh, plumbing like backed up and I would have filmed this part, but it was just so gross. Like, I can't even tell you. The waste was coming up out of the tub, up out of the sink drain, and uh, obviously the toilet was overflowing. So it's, this house is almost 100 years old, so I was kind of expecting some plumbing issues, but hope, I was hoping not maybe this soon because I need to redo so much of the house completely. I just didn't wanna have to invest in anything that I need to change later when I do start really like uh, renovating this house. That's okay, so currently right now I'm waiting on the plumber to come again. He was here yesterday to kind of diagnose the issue, make it a little bit better livable. I think it's gonna be around $1,500. They started digging in stuff yesterday, but I think that they're gonna need to dig somewhere else based off of the plans that I need to do for this house. So we'll we'll see what uh, what happens with that. But you know, it's all a part of the journey and uh, the journey started a little quicker than I wanted it to, but that's okay. So it looks like Haley has like a little bit of contour and a little bit of bronzer, which is perfect so I can use my favorites. So I'm gonna use the Cosmetic So Soft Cream Bronzer in summer. I love the So Soft products. It's fun using them again because I love them so much. And it also looks like whoever did her makeup for her birthday did a little bit of draping. So, I don't know. But I always love her makeup because it's always like super natural, but it's like glam at the same time. And I'm not quite sure how they do it, but they do it. But feel free to let me know about the lighting. I still have my old lighting um, that I've had for years. So I don't know. I'm hoping to kind of upgrade that situation unless, you know, the house falls apart and I have to spend all of the money all at once. <laughs> so for contour, I'm going to use the So Soft Contour in Terra, and I'm gonna take it straight because she has pretty defined cheekbones and this is a really good way to do that. And this is the only place I'm gonna contour because I find like contouring my nose, which is like so crooked from like my collapsed septum and my nasal, nasal fold, whatever nostril collapse. I can't think right now. I've just been leaving con like my nose the way it is. I'll bronze it up, but that's about it. So, but before I moved here permanently, Harry Styles finally made it. You guys heard me talk about this in the vlog about the house. If you haven't seen that, like I said, it'll be below, but girl, we're wearing the merch. We're wearing the merch. Where is it? Oh, I took it off. Okay, I even got hair ties, all right? I got hair ties, the album, a sweatshirt. We're all Harry styled out. Really fun time had the time of my life. It was pretty crazy. I didn't realize like how good the seats were that I got. And I was like, wow, okay, Mallory, you really did that. Very happy with uh, the view. <laughs> so for highlight, it looks like she has quite a bit of layers of glow. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to use the M Cosmetics Moonbeam Highlighter in Aura as my first highlight layer. And I like to take my beauty blender right in there. You can use your hands, but I'm just gonna use my beauty blender. So the first week in this house has been very interesting. You know, I knew there'd be surprises and situations that would arise. Plumbing was definitely just one that I had hoped would, you know, hold out on the damage, but I don't know. The girl who lived here, I just imagined her like on purpose, like shoving tampons in the toilet and stuff. I don't know. Oh my God, this house was just so dirty. Anyway, I'm about to find out today in a little bit um, what exactly is going on down there. But look at how beautiful this glow is. For concealer, no surprise here. I'm gonna use something that's kind of dewy, but you know, has coverage. And I'm gonna use the Tom Ford Emotion Proof Concealer. This is the shade two. We're just gonna kinda 
load that on. Anyway, but this has been quite the experience. It feels nice to be halfway settled somewhere and knowing that I'm not like in an apartment and that I'm, you know, actually investing in myself instead of like some corporation, you know? And uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be fun, you guys. And also another little update. I haven't been able to really vlog that much because for one thing, I've been battling a flare up and for another, my uh, little Canon, my old one, is kind of on its last leg. So I had to finally place an order, like this other vlog camera that I want, the Canon M50 Mark II. I've wanted it for months since my Sony just like crapped out on me. And anyway, the Sony ZV-1, girl, ooh, I will never buy another Sony camera again. I didn't even have that for a year, or right at a year and it just broke and like it's a whole issue. Like I've said before that Sony's not recognizing or telling their customers. So I, the warranty was up and all this stuff. I just have been waiting to get my hands on this new vlog camera and it's been sold out everywhere. And finally it was sort of in stock, but also on back order at BH Photo, B &H Photo which I buy a lot of my equipment from. Long story short, the order has been placed, but it doesn't ship for another like two to four weeks. And I'm so scared to use my little Canon camera. So I think I might break down and use my 6D that I have here, which terrifies me as well. But we gotta do something because I miss vlogging. Setting powder, I'm gonna use the Dior Backstage, one of our powder, no powder. Still loving this. I say that I haven't worn makeup forever, but I'm still loving it so far. It really perfects the skin like insanely. And I like setting my whole face with this, which is very rare for me to like setting my whole face. It's because I have such dry skin. Look, that still maintains the glow, but you are set, girl. Like with this powder, you are set. It sets and forgets. And yes, I am gonna bake. This is my Laura Mercier translucent powder. Okay, so I hate filming my eyebrows, the eyebrow portion, but I'm going to because I wanna do my eyebrows like Haley's. She has very like, you know, they're not crazy full, but they're pretty naturally shaped. So I'm, I'll film it, I'll film it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just brush these up. I haven't filled my eyebrows in, in like a few weeks. So pardon if this gets painful. I'm using my Hourglass Archbrow Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Platinum Blonde. It is literally the perfect shade for my eyebrow hairs. I have a really hard time finding um, eyebrow pencils that are cool enough, cool enough undertone for my blonde eyebrows. So she mainly has her eyebrows filled in where there are gaps, so that's what I'm gonna do. And I would use my Patrick Ta brow lamination and some other brow uh, things, but the thing is, <laughs> I don't know where it's at. So we're just kind of using what we have on hand and unpacked at this point. I think this is about to get really loud, so. Anyway, like I said, I would use the brow lamination, but I don't know where it's at. So I'm gonna use my M Cosmetics Flexi Brow and Clear. This is more of like an everyday. There it is. You know, everyday brow gel. It doesn't like super spike up your brows, but there's hold there. I gotta wait. Okay, so it is getting dark outside now. It's so, so loud. But I have to move on, right? So just bear with me. This is hashtag real life. Discussing the look, I've been looking, looking, looking. I think this is the perfect opportunity for me to use the new, uh, well, new to me, Natasha Denona Glam Palette because it looks like she's got like some neutrals, some cool tones going on, especially in this photo. It looks a little more cool undertoned, you know? So we're gonna we're gonna try our best. This isn't just because like I like her as a celebrity, it's because I really thoroughly love this makeup. I feel like it just nails natural glam, like actual glam and natural looking makeup. It looks like everything's going from within her skin, which I love so much. I'm going to mostly use these kind of cooler toned shades here, but I'm gonna start with the shade blend, funny enough, haha, and uh, blend that through my crease to give myself kind of a warm start 
And I'm gonna use the Sigma Papered Blending, and I'm gonna finally take this little film off the mirror and use that. Anyway, my darkest circles are so bad, but I just like need a lot of rest and sleep, and we're not getting that anytime soon, so <laughs> just bear with me on that. Ha ha, that's a very clear mirror. All right, <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade Blend, and it really looks like she has a really nice blended out kind of cut crease. So I'm gonna be careful where I'm placing this eyeshadow. So I'm starting a little higher up than I normally would to kind of give that super blended out base look before I go in and shape everything out. Wow, the lighting in here is hard for me and my little glaucoma eyes to see. I'm gonna have to fix that. So I'm gonna take this out and then I'm gonna also blend this right back in. But I hope you guys are all having a wonderful holiday season-ish. Don't have my tree up yet, that kinda of bums me out, but I'm also like, you just bought a house, just relax. You know, even like next Christmas is gonna be. Finally, I'll feel like settled. I feel like I haven't felt settled since I was a kid in my own childhood bed. Okay, so I'm gonna undo the same thing over here. I cannot, I am having a hard time seeing today. Okay, perfect. And I'm just bringing that back in because we are going to give this like a, a shape, a nice shape, but very blended shape. I'm just going with that top, that flat part of the brush and I'm gonna blend, 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 keeping the shape. I'm gonna take that same shadow blend onto a refer 01, connect it and blend this down here. And I already did wipe my bake off, by the way, while that was going on because I just felt like I had to do something. <laughs> I probably could have left it on a little longer. I'm gonna take that Sigma brush and just blend that. Go in with this shade crease on a pencil brush, and I'm gonna go ahead and shape the rest of the look out. Even though in some of these shots it looks warm, it looks the majority, you know what? I want something, ooh. No, I'm not gonna use a pencil brush. I'm gonna use like a little flat shader. This is a refer O2. And I'm gonna take that crease shade, shape this out. She's got a lot better lid space than I do, so I'm just gonna pretend I have good lid space. Like that. Kinda of bring this down instead of out, because we're gonna have to connect this shade. Okay, I'm happy with that. Because it's like it's blended, it's a crease color, but there is some structure to that. And I'm, I'm digging it and I'm very excited to get to the shimmer part because I think these shimmers are gonna be exact Well, not exact. I don't know what her art makeup artist used but Ooh, That one this little line of mine it went a little deeper than I wanted it to I was trying to be like singing that this little light of mine song I need to take like a little a smaller crease brush and go over with just a slightly warmer shadow. I'm gonna take a Refer 13, so good for my little lids, and I'm gonna go back into blend, and I'm just going to, this will make it a little bit deeper, so it's not gonna look like the same blending shade, but I think it'll help it, the, this gray crease shade, blend a little better. I'm kinda going more below that grayish shade than right directly on top, and I think it's definitely helping out. So I'm gonna lay down this shade center eyelid <laughs> with my finger all over this part of the lid and kind of fill in up to where we have the uh, cut crease. And then also out, because she definitely has some shimmer towards the outer part of the eye. Oh, back to what I was saying about the camera. So I'm going to be filming and having a full series on this house, which I discussed in that vlog video. So if you missed it, I already said this. So that's why I really wanted to get a camera that I could tote around that would be easy to like bring through the house when like construction is going on. So it sucks that I, it's like on back order for another two to four weeks. Hopefully it will come sooner than later. Now I'm gonna take the shade inner corner and I'm gonna go in the center of the lid with this and a little higher up and just kind of layer that until I get that kind of glittery shimmery effect that she has. 
So for the waterline, I it looks like she's got kind of like a rich, deep chocolate liner on, which works out for me because the only eyeliner I've pulled right now is the Patrick Ta Precision Gel Liner in Rich Brown. So I'm going to... Okay, SD card was full. And uh, I think I was saying, <laughs> I'm gonna apply this liner more on my lower lash line than on my waterline, but a little bit on the waterline just because her eyes a little open there. But it's also a little smoked out. So I feel like this placement will be good. And she also has her liner all the way in the inner corner. Attractive. And I'm gonna line my upper waterline as well. Okay, I'm gonna pop in really quickly because I do need to say this, I know it's loud. I'm gonna take the outer eyelid shade and I'm just going to press that on the deeper parts just to give that outer part a little depth and a little shimmer like she has on, probably from the flash in the camera. But there's something there, I can't quite place it and I feel like this is a good compromise. Okay, silent time is over. Let's zoom out a little because we're gonna finish the face. There we go. So for her cheeks, she has like kind of a neutral blush, but she has, I, this to me looks like draping. You can see here, there's like blush and it goes all the way up to the temple. By the way, this is not a celebrity recreation video. Okay, I just literally like every aspect of this makeup look, so that's why I'm recreating every aspect of this makeup look. Okay, so for blush, I'm going to use the Pat McGrath, I got this during the sale, Pat McGrath Desert Orchid. I think this is like desert, did I say desert? I, mm. Anyway, I'm using a Sigma Duo Fiber F50 to apply this. And she's got it kind of heavy on her cheeks, but then she's got a little bit of draping, which I've talked about in a few videos that I want that to come back because I feel like it really gives you some nice life to the face. Yeah, there's a shadow there that I will figure it out. Drape, 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 meaning bring it up to the temples and out. You know, you don't have to go crazy like the 80s, but it does look really nice when you apply just a little bit more pigmentation higher up and above the temples. Like it just gives your makeup just a little bit of an edge and it really does look incredible in pictures because you don't just have color on the front of your face. And so now I'm just gonna take a larger powder brush. This is a Refer 22. And I'm gonna blend all that together. I am going to layer my highlight, like I said. And to me, it looks like she has like kind of a pinkier champagne highlight. So I'm gonna use my M Cosmetics Sunscape Highlighter in Clarity. Look at that, oh my God, it's so good. And it doesn't enhance your pores or fine lines. And I also have a whole video on these if you guys missed it. I reviewed all of the shades and swatched them all. But they're really age-friendly highlighters. Like they give you such a gorgeous glow, but don't enhance texture on the skin or pores or fine lines. I've been wearing makeup, now I just wanna like apply all the makeup that I own immediately at one time. <laughs> and two, like if you can see, like when you look directly on, the eyes just look smoked out. But if you kinda, you know, sometimes I forget that makeup can be seen not just with your eyes open. Like you're looking this way, you're leaning that way, you're, people are seeing the whole picture that you're not seeing all the time. For lips, she really has a nice kind of rosy nude. So I'm going to use Charlotte Tilbury's Lip Cheat in Super Size Me. And this just gives kind of like a your lips but better. I really forgot how much I like the Neo Nude uh, foundation. It's nice. Now for lipstick, I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in In Love with Olivia. This is her kissing formula. So it's like glowy like hers in the pictures. And if you have not tried this formula yet, and you're looking for a lipstick that lasts, but also has a shine and a sheen to it. Ooh, girl, this is the one. Imagine slick back hair and some chandelier earrings and not a sweatshirt. I think that, and better lighting, I think that we nailed it. I like it. Oh, 
like this makeup in general, even though it's not exactly like hers. I mean, I'm not her. I feel glam, but I feel like all of the pigmentation is from within, which is kind of my favorite look right now. And that's why I meant to say this, that's why I applied that liner more so on the lower lash line than directly in the waterline, because it looks like the makeup has already been on my face for a little bit, but it's gonna stay this way, so get your 20% off on my favorite wind products. Okay, thank you so much wind for sponsoring today's video. That's why we have such a gorgeous glow. Okay, that's really what <laughs> made the makeup and my face pop today. <laughs> it's the Eureka Sun uh, tanning drops. <sighs> Love it. And if you can make an NC15 gal like me look like she has a natural glow, girl. I will have links to everything that I used and talked about in the info below, but please leave in the comments what you would like to see more on my channel. Right now, I'm just kind of like hoping to get more vlogs out, life updates and that type of thing, and also beauty videos. Let me know in the comments below what you miss seeing on my channel or what you want to see more of that I've been doing lately. Have a wonderful whatever day this goes up and uh, try to, try to breathe through the holidays. Because honestly, right now, I wish I had normal holiday stress. I don't even have my tree up. So I have different stresses. But like I'm stressing over the not having holiday stresses because it doesn't feel like the holidays. So if you're stressing over the holidays, enjoy that holiday stress. <laughs> All right.